if your moho characters bend in weird ways you are probably connecting your bones wrong there are actually five ways to do it and most beginners mess up the very first one each of these five bone binding methods can completely change how your character moves stick with the wrong one and you will get wobbly arms twitching feet or stiff robotic poses in this video i will show you what each method does the mistakes to avoid and how to pick the one that makes your rig look and feel professional but here's something you might not expect the method moho gives you by default isn't always your best option in fact in some cases it's the reason your rig behaves strangely let's test it and see why but first what is bone binding in moho bone binding is simply how you tell the software which bones control which parts of your artwork think of it like strings on a puppet each method changes how those strings pull stretch or bend your character here's a cartoon arm split into three layers upper arm lower arm and hand watch the hand bone light up in red when i select it around it you will see a shaded circle that's its region of influence showing how much this bone affects the artwork all three bones have a similar region of influence this is called bone strength let's test it by clicking on bone strength we can adjust the region of influence of the selected bone we can change the value over here or we can hold the mouse and move it down to right now the middle bone has zero bone strength this is flexible binding moho's default binding method every bone can influence every point but bone strength decides how much i have added bones to this rig Now let's try to animate it flexible binding method We can see that we are not able to move the parts individually the animation is distorted as the bone strength is overlapping with different parts to animate this rig with bone strength we will use region binding click on the bones tab and enable region binding now i will separate all the body parts
now I will add bones. We can click on the reparent bone option to check the bone hierarchy. Now I will use offset bone to join the body. Now let's animate So with region binding and offset bone option we can animate the rig even with bone strength what if you could get the same smooth distortion free result in half the time region binding works beautifully but it's a lot of steps and one tiny mistake can break your rig let me show you the easier way this method is good for animating images and it also requires bone strength. So we'll select the bone and select the layer. And on the top we have link bones. I'll select the bone in the stomach. I can either select link bones over here or this option link bones to layer. This is under bone. Both of them are the same. Now I will use the link bone option for all the body parts. Now let's test the rig. So we can see that link bone also work great for vector artwork and for images also. Layer binding connects an entire layer to a single bone. It's perfect for rigid shapes like this robot arm. Each part of the arm is already on its own layer. The base, lower arm, upper arm and the claw. I will select the layer. Then select bind layer and click on the bone. We repeat this for the upper arm and the claw. For the base, I am not using bind layer. The base is with flexible binding. Let's test this arm. Point binding lets you connect individual points 
in a shape to specific bones that means you can keep the claw as one layer and still control each pincer separately instead of the whole claw rotating as one piece each pincer moves independently so the lower arm is bound with layer binding and the upper arm is also bound with layer binding and for the claw we will use point binding we select the layer select the bone now i have added three bones for this layer now i will select the points which i want to bind to this bone we click on bind points and we can see that the color of the bones change i have selected the red bone now i have selected these four points and on the top we will click on bind points now i'll select the other bone select the points around it and click on bind points now let's test this arm we have tried all five bone binding methods so which is the best truth is there isn't one each works best for different styles designs and movements the real power is knowing them all so you can pick the right one for your project think you got bone binding figured out think again because many animators get stuck right at the basics especially with layer binding and point binding in the next video i will reveal why these two methods trip up so many users and how you can overcome those common struggles fast